Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the ECW Young Lions Cup live on Ring the Bell Wrestling Network. I am Christian Rock, and the future is now. Eight of the top prospects will get a chance at a full-time contract here in Eastern Championship Wrestling. But before we can start this tournament, let's go over the rules. Of course, there will be six rounds of this round robin tournament. They have 20 minutes to get the victory of their match. Victors are worth five, draws are worth two, and losses are zero points. Two with the two best scores will compete in the finals at the next pay-per-view. And we're gonna start this off right out of the gate as we have the former Minnesota State University Center Duke Redwood taking on South Main Millionaire and former rugby player Simon Lee as we're gonna get this started right off to the races and Already Simon Lee already taking the smart approach and trying to chop down the legs of the six foot ten giant. Of course, they have 20 minutes to get a victory here as Duke Redwood and Simon Lee starting off this tournament here in round one. As we are excited to bring this tournament to show off the youth and upcoming stars here in. Eastern Championship Wrestling, and who knows? This tournament can open up a possibilities of getting jobbed somewhere else around the world. As oh, we're already starting off with very violent uh, weapons. <laughs> As the Young Lion Tournament is being held here inside the ECW House of Hardcore uh, Training Facility here in Philadelphia Pennsylvania and Duke Redwood of course a massive heap of a man former center from the Minnesota State University taking on Simon Lee and these guys are really just doing whatever it takes to win including beating each other to death here on the outside and Simon Lee with a forearm to the face. That was sorry. That was Duke Redwood. And Duke Redwood, as you notice, not really. Uh, he's just using his power. Simon Lee, hey, he's got to be able to counteract with some speed and quickness. As Redwood's got a chair. And oh, what a palm strike to the face! Oh man. Of course, s former center Duke Redwood made his transition to professional wrestling. And we have to thank our uh, manager, Young Lions coach Taz, for training all the newbies here in the house of hardcore. As Duke Redwood idolizing uh, prof former hardcore professional giants just like 911 and Bruiser Brody. And oh, what a! Chopped to the back of the head and a gut wrench. Just showcasing his power here. Just giving it all his all here. And Duke Redwood with a suplex. St uh, using his power and dropping up uh, Simon Lee. Of course, Simon Lee, a former rugby star in, uh, in, uh, from London, England. Unfortunately, was banned from the league, but uh, and started investing in cryptocurrency, and now he is a self-made millionaire. But I mean, it's gonna take a little bit more than money to win this tournament. As Simon Lee, oh, taking a chair shot to the back of the head. Simon Lee ha might be able to sh uh, able to showcase his toughness here, and show why this uh, he's able to be the next up-and-coming star here in Eastern Championship Wrestling if he can earn himself a full-time contract but Redwood is gonna prevent him that anything like that from happening is oh my god the power of Redwood is just overwhelming and Redwood oh night nice vertical suplex taking him down And Redwood, and oh no, we are engaging in a battle of strikes here 
as Redwood. Oh, what a headbutt! Taking down Simon Lee, the former rugby star. As I said, there, uh, uh, Simon Lee is gonna have to. He's not. He's gonna have to outmaneuver out him with his speed and quickness. You're not gonna win a strike battle against the big uh, Duke Redwood. As oh, bit low under the belt, but Duke Redwood able to get out of it in just a hurry. It's gonna take more than a low blow to take him down. As Redwood throws Simon Lee to the outside here. As Simon Lee, oh, chop block, taking down the big man. As he's, as I said, he's just got to be able to manipulate the body here. As he's got a chair. What's he, oh, to the back. Redwood is just going to assault him with all kinds of weapons. Oh, no, Redwood telling him to get up here. And, oh, Simon Lee. What a just dropping him on the back of his head. And, oh man, Duke Redwood. Oh my god. What incredible power there. And, Simon Lee is, was looking for something there, but Duke Redwood able to get out of the way. And Simon Lee... With a flurry of elbows, taking down the big Redwood. As, the, ladies and gentlemen, they have little less than 10 minutes to try to take their opponent out. But, oh, went for the dropkick, but Redwood able to scout it. Oh, those shoulder butts to Simon Lee. Oh, my God. And Simon Lee coming back from the back with the axe handle to the neck. And Simon Lee throwing him into the corner here. What's he? I was going to say he was, must be looking for something here. As they're both fighting in the corner trying to look for something. As, oh, nice chop luck by the Simon Lee. And a thump to the eyes. And a drop kick to the knees. And, oh, nice. Uh, nice gut wrench suplex. Taking the man down is Simon Lee. Irish whip. Drops down. Oh! Went for a kitchen sink, but the Redwood... Tr oh, no. The Redwood was go looking for a choke slam there, but just a s kicked him in the groin as Redwood... Oh! Just knocking him down. And a, and a chop block there. And Simon Lee able to just... Take him down, maybe you overwork it with some submissions here. As Redwood just chopping down Simon Lee. Dropping him with uh, with some uh, kicks to the face. As Simon Redwood ch just unloading on each other. Nice drop kick there. Taking down the big man. He's got a little less than five minutes to take him down, but Redwood, oh, clubs him down with a strike to the face, and Redwood, oh, what a lariat. Man, oh no, oh, kicks it to the balls, wait, he's got a cover, hook of the legs, one, two, oh, Duke Redwood able to kick out there. And an atomic drop. Elbow to the face. And Redwood. All oh, the referees down. Jim Molino is down. Oh my god. You're not going to be able to get a f fall if the referee is down here. But Redwood grabbing the chair. As we might have to patch up the referee before we start our next contest. As Simon Lee setting him up here. Oh, takes him down with the clothesline. Oh. Oh. Palm strike to the face. And Redwood. Oh, my God. With the back suplex dropping him on his shoulders. This 
This could be dangerous. As Redwood takes a oh choke slam off the top of the ro uh, off the top rope, but he's a little exhausted here. He needs to end this quickly. As Redwood with a chop to the chest, and this honking brute Duke Redwood with a lariat taking him down. Here's the cover, and Duke Redwood. Earns himself five points. Congratulations for get on the first victory with 45 seconds left on the clock. Of course, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to Duke Redwood getting the victory there. As we are going to get ready for our next contest, Javier Martinez, the, the current luchador that's trying to make a name for himself, takes on the independent wrestler from Southern California, Mr. Josh Carpenter. Of course, uh, Josh Carpenter, Indian, independent wrestler, you've seen him in the Southern California area, fighting in Los Angeles, San Diego, I mean, and even sometimes maybe in Arizona, already taking it to Javier Martinez. And Martinez, try, uh, very famous in the his home country of M Mexico. Of course, a luchador trying to make a name for himself as there's some shoulder thrusts to Javier Martinez. That's a nice judo arm drag there. As I said, this is a nice match of styles. American style wrestling mixed with Lucha Libre. And Carpenter just taking some shoulder thrust to his opponent here. What is Javier looking for? And Javier Martinez just getting his ankle crushed there. And uh oh. One. Oh! Kicks. Uh, able to kick out. And Javier. Was looking for something there, but Carpenter just caught him off guard. And, and Carpenter getting a drop to his knee. And an elbow to the knee. Carpenter just pulling apart the ligaments of Javier. And Javier throws him to the corner. What's he looking for? But, oh, no. Oh, Carpenter suplexes him to the outside. Able to stop his opponent dead in his tracks. And now they're taking it to the outside. Nice drop kick there by Javier. And a side slam there by Josh Carpenter. And Carpenter just pulling apart the knee. Trying to take away any put, uh, possible uh, quickness that Martinez could probably use against his opponent. Was looking for something there. Just misses. And Javier went for the Irish whip. But able to... Stop himself before he can go any further. But oh, nice Muda lock. The Muda lock is locked in, but able to break out of it quickly. And Martinez throwing him to the other turnbuckle. And again to the other turnbuckle. Martinez is going to be looking for something here, but oh, what a kick to the knee! And again. As, oh, what, nice prawn hold. Able to kick out before he was able to count two. And this is, oh, nice standing shooting star. Not even a one count. And an arm breaker there. Taking down his opponent. And a Pele kick for good measure. And there's the Muda lock. The Muda lock is locked in again. Is he going to tap? No, able to break out of it. This has been a fantastic contest already. And oh, nice Huacanrana. One. Oh, man. Carpenter just needs to conserve his energy if he's going to be able to. Uh, he can't do these quick kickouts. Another standing shooting star. All these quick kickouts is just not going to help conserve any energy. And oh, nice running bulldog. And Martinez. And another bulldog. 
Take his opponent down, and oh! Nice inverted sharpshooter there. Able to uh, able to break out of it though. It is Carpenter. Misses uh, Insiguri, and now Carpenter is taking advantage. What is he going to do here? Oh, what a Cobra Clutch! Cobra Clutch is locked in! But able to flip out of it is Martinez. And again! With the Cobra Clutch. Choking the man out and flips him out again. And Martinez taking down the shoulder. Trying to rip it out of its socket as we have another strike contest. Carpenter, Javier, and Javier takes him down. There's the cover. Hook the leg. And a kick out. As drops him down with the DDT. And Carpenter, what's he looking for? Oh. Able to get it, get himself out of a pickle here. As Carpenter blow takes a couple strikes to the kidney there. And Javier Martinez separating himself from the Carpenter there. Able to catch a breather. But there's only, but there's less than 10 minutes on the clock. These guys need to secure the victory here. And oh, the double stop to the shoulders of Martinez. He might pay for that dearly. And a double axe handle to the back of the neck. As oh, there's a counter. One, two. Oh, Carpenter gets out. And another double axe handle. And Carpenter coming from behind. Oh, clothesline taking him down. And the referee's out again. This is the second match in a row where the referee has taken a bump. Oh, man. We need to get more sturdier refs in this company. But, uh, here. Oh, Martinez missing the drop kick. Oh, what a low blow. A cheap shot there. Taking uh, taking down Martinez. And I think Carpenter might have the advantage. As I say that, one, two. Oh, able to kick out. And Martinez with the jawbreaker. Comes from behind. And a nice bulldog taking him down. And another jawbreaker. Using his Lucha Libre style, the leapfrog. And to the... Oh, nice uh, revolving head scissors there. And Code Red. One, two. Oh. And, that re uh, and the uh, independent wrestler from Southern Cow able to get the shoulders up for a two count as Carpenter. Oh, was looking for something there, but gets dealt with with an Insiguri. And a back, an elbow to the back of the head. As Carpenter. Not, not really a big man here. But looking about the same size as Martinez. One. Two. Oh and another kick out. Only five minutes left of this contest. Someone needs to score the victory or it's going into a draw. As Carpenter was looking for something, but gets caught with a back suplex. Oh, kick, kick to the jewels. As Carpenter, oh, looking for something here. But, oh, gets caught with a Pele kick. And he just kicks him in the back of the knee. Carpenter, running, running attack, comes from behind, and gets caught with another Pele kick. Carpenter really needs to stop looking for something. Oh, it's a gurry. And a, and a quick roll-up. Two. Javier Martinez gets the gets five points. Wow. What an amazing contest here. Javier Martinez picks him up five points. And now he is tied for the lead with Duke Redwood. But before we go into our next contest... Let's take a look at the ECW Dark Highlights for this week.
As a reminder, you can catch all the full dark matches on Mikey Lexit's YouTube. But coming up next, the heavy-handed striker from Detroit, Michigan, Boomer Bonds, takes on the former black belt in jiu-jitsu, Kobayashi Daisuke. As our referee, Jeb Molyneux, getting us started here. Of course, uh, taking a very unorthodox route is Boomer Bonds, who is holding his fists up in striking position as if he was going to box. As Daisuke just using his MMA prowess to take down Boomer Bonds here. As Daisuke, ooh, nice modified version of the STF. And Boomer able to get out of it for just a brief second. As, oh, Daisuke. Oh, he's just pulling apart the limbs. So, uh, from a professional wrestling standpoint, you gotta give, give the advantage to Daisuke for being able to be a technical wizard and just pull apart limbs. And just make you feel complete discomfort. Where Boomer Bonds, if he has, has lands one solid strike to your face, you might be out for, out for uh, good as Daisuke with the... Uh-oh. Went for a uh -oh, nice body slam and now choking out the big Boomer. And Boomer getting taken down as Daisuke is going for some MMA strikes of his own. And... Oh, Daisuke just uh, with a nice dragon takedown. And it looks like Daisuke is bleeding... I think Boomer got one good shot in what, taking down uh, the uh, heavy, ha uh, just one of those heavy hands just taking him down. Of course, Boomer, a former Golden Glove boxer from Detroit, Michigan, now just laying in the heavy hands to Daisuke as, oh, Boomer with a nice forearm shot to the back. And, oh my god, just... You would, you would think that this was an MFA a fight with how these two are taking each other down. As Daisuke is just bleeding all over the place. And Boomer... Looked like he barely broke a sweat, but I imagine his limbs feel absolutely tor terrible with how much these were pulled apart. As we have a strike exchange between Boomer and Daisuke. And Boomer... Oh! Losing the exchange there, but Daisuke falling straight to the floor. He must be bleeding profusively right now. Makes you wonder how long he's going to last with all this blood getting pouring down his face. And nice roll up there. Jim Molino. Oh, didn't even get a one count there. This Boomer Bonds able to use his power here. Uh-oh. Going for a power... Uh, looks like for a power slam. And oh, what a great counter into an armbar there. A triangle choke. And these guys, uh, wow, this has probably been the best match so far in this tournament as Bonds and Daisuke just having a, a ma master class professional wrestling match as Boomer, wow, able to catch him in a triangle and strike him in the, uh, hit him with the, those heavy handed strikes as Boomer, he's got those heavy hit with those heavy hands, just taking it to the jaw of Daisuke. Oh, man. Boomer Bonds and Daisuke just... Oh, Daisuke, nice R bar there. Is it going to make Boomer tap? And Boomer gets out of it just in the nick of time. And Boomer picking him up. Oh, what a, what a power slam. One. Oh, just able to get his shoulder up. Boomer and Daisuke just taking it to each other. And Daisuke got, going for the lock. He's got it. He's got it in. Able to break out of it though. And Daisuke. Oh, nice clothesline. Take it down, and here's the Kimura lock. Kimura lock is locked in. And Boomer just able to get out of it. As. Oh, that triangle locked it again. Is he gonna tap? Is he gonna tap? And breaks out of it. Does Boomer. And a stutter! Boomer coming in hot. Superman punch. Taking him down. Was going to pick him up but gets caught in a version of the uh, guillotine. 
But Boomer able to get out of it. Uh, of course, Daisuke. Oh, oh my god! He calls out the Haymaker! Two! Oh, it kicks out at 2.9! His Daisuke and Daisuke able to catch that arm in a, in a submission hold. Of course, Daisuke, a former black belt in jiu-jitsu, showing off his MMA... MMA skills and submission skills as he's got the leg bar locked in. Is Boomer going to tap here? Oh no, Boomer kicks out. Maybe all he needs is to land one more haymaker to take him out, but uh oh. Picking him up here. Oh, Dragon Screw takedown. And of course, Boomer's got to be feeling it now. He's just getting his he's been getting all of his limbs pulled apart it's only a matter of time before Daisuke locks the submission but Boomer might hit him with another haymaker too oh and Daisuke kicks out what is Daisuke looking for oh no traps him in an e-bar one uh, while he taps out Daisuke Daisuke gets the submission victory what? Wow! With a little over ten minutes passing in the uh, on that twenty-minute timer, Daisuke gets the submission victory against Boomer Bonds. And ladies and gentlemen, with that, it is a tie for our main event. It is a clash between the Southeast Asians, the former collegiate wrestler from Tibet, Somoyama. Takes on the former pro wrestling Noah Kings Road fighter, King Sakuzaki. And this is going to be a clash of power and t uh, of power wrestling here. And Somoyaba already uh, taking him down with some technical wrestling. Of course, Somoyaba, a former a collegiate Olympic wrestler, uh, wrestling out of Tibet. It, coming to the United States to just show his technical wrestling prowess as this man is showing him how how they do it in the uh, how they do it in college and Somoyama just getting dumped to the outside already and of course King Sakuzaki oh, a bit of a King's Road wrestler former pro wrestling Noah gets uh, kind of got got on the chopping block because uh, after COVID but scouted but he was once scouted by one of his longtime favorite wrestlers the amazing Jess Sakuzaka uh, just getting dropped on the outside as these two are just gonna brawl out here give it their all just throwing each other around in the ring as Sakuzaki has got a chair there and throws a it gets thrown down to the outside and Somoyama rolling back in. He needs to take it back to the ring so he can get a victory here. But Somo's... Oh! Nice suplex. Taking it, taking down Sakuzaki. As... Oh! Drops him down with a backbreaker. And Sakuzaki is... Uh, might have a bit of an advantage here. As soon as I say that, Somoyama... As... Uh oh! Oh! Axe handle to the back of the neck. And Somoyama getting thrown to the turbuckle. Man, there's been a lot of counters in this contest here. Going for a lariat, able to dodge. And, oh man, the power of Sakuzaki. Just taking all the strikes and knocking him down. And, oh my god, the strikes... Taking him down. Just showing some absolute athletic power. It's Sakuzaki. Say that three times fast as Sakuzaki gets the backbreaker. And Yaba with a body slam. Went for a cover but Sakuzaki able to kick out. The referee was just slightly out of position there. And... Oh, what a full Nelson slam. I have a feeling, folks, that this is just going to go down to the bitter end. 
as these two are just throwing each other around like rag dolls. And Sobo Yama just able to get the nice takedown. And there's a backbreaker by Sakuzaki. And a nice judo takedown. We are a little close to 7 minutes. 13 minutes left on the clock. And Sakuzaki looking for something here. Oh my god. Just chuck uh, with that absolute power just chucking Yama halfway across the ring. What are they going for here as oh belly to belly suplex by Yama. And he drops the elbow. Yama coming in. Oh nice roll up here. One. Oh. Sakuzaki just able to kick out at one. And a sidewalk slam by the big man. Of I imagine Amazing Jess is watching this at home, expecting Sakuzaki to pick up a big victory here, having amazing performance as Yama just giving it his all. Oh, went for a roll up. Able to counter again as uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Northern Lights Driver! This could be it! The cover! Two! Oh! Nice kick out there by Yama! And a belly to belly suplex taking down the big man! As. He, uh oh, Yama! Oh, elbows to the back of the head! And again! As oh, Sakizaki with the gut wrench suplex. And again with the gut wrench. These two are just giving it their absolute all here. As oh, drops him down with another elbow. And what is Sakuzaki looking for here? Oh, just a knee to the gut. They had these guys have to start worrying about putting each other away. But he might be able to do it that with that reverse braid buster. Oh, Yama! Oh, nice big body uh, crash right there. And again, looking for something, and another, but countered. And oh, butterfly suplex there. By Yama, as Yama really needs to work on putting his opponent away. As oh, nice slam by Sakuzaki. Yama looking for a back suplex. Sakuzaki saw better, and these guys are just going counter for counter here. As oh, German suplex went for another one, but able to counter. It is Sakuzaki. And, oh, Butterfly. Taking it down. These two are taking each other to their absolute limit. And this is just round one. And a gut wrench suplex there. And picks him up. Another Northern Lights driver. Oh, and he hits it. There's the cover. No hook in the leg. That might be a mistake. As, a, as Yama able to get up and, well, just tosses to the outside. Maybe able to catch a breather here. But these guys got to remember, there are no pinfalls on the outside here. Oh, counters the German suplex. And there we go. Picks him up. Oh, nice German suplex taking him down. We have, these guys have about, just about five minutes left on the clock to put their opponent away. But these guys are just taking it to the outside. They really need to be, a, keep their eye out here as, oh my god! Chucking them halfway across the floor. As these two are just taking it to each other. And Sakuzaki with the clubs to the back of the head. Irish whip. Oh! 
able to catch himself before he goes any further. These guys have four minutes left to put each other away as Yama gets back in the ring first. And, oh, military press! Throws him down! Sakuzaki, oh, elbow to the head. Oh, counters the German suplex there. Able to force his body weight, but what is Yama looking for? Oh, no, 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 no. Picks him up! Oh, another Northern Lights driver. This has got to be it. The cover. One, two, no. There is no quit in Yama. This has been an absolutely unbelievable contest here. As Yama gets himself back up here. What could he be looking for? Throws him back to the outside. And again, they're fighting each other on the outside. Yama really needs to keep it in the ring. Otherwise, this is going to be a problem. Because there is literally less than a, uh, two minutes to put each other away here. And Yama. Oh, butter, uh, butterfly suplex to the outside. This, is, this has been an amazing first round, folks, and it's just a matter of time before this ends as there is a less than a minute left on the clock. They need to get each other back in the ring. As Yama gets back in the ring, 30 seconds left. They, someone needs to score a big move here with 15 seconds left on the clock. And, oh, suplex! Can he get the cover? He doesn't get the cover. What are you doing? And the time runs out. As ladies and gentlemen, the main event of our first round goes to a draw. What did it, uh, I mean, sure it's not a victory, but at least both will score points here. As ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the first round. As we are going to take a look at our table here, Duke Redwood and Javier Martinez and Daisuke, all three of them have scored five points. Sobo Yama, King Sakuzaki scoring two points as they went to a draw, and unfortunately Boomer Bond, Simon Lee, and Josh Carpenter all eating defeats here. But there is still plenty of time as there are seven, uh, I mean, less than six weeks left of this contest i of course have been your host christian rock thank you so much for watching round one of the ecw young lions cup <laughs>